Hello everyone, you are watching Scardia.com and I am Dr. Madhadar. Today our topic is kyphosis. Actually when a patient comes to you with a stoop posture, what is he or she is most likely suffering from? That is most likely kyphosis. Today we will discuss what are the different types of kyphosis, whether it's and how do we actually eliminate the different differential diagnosis which will come to our mind when we are dealing with a patient of kyphosis. We will be discussing what are the different types of curves we have in the spine and when we are looking at the spine, how the spine actually sagittally balances itself, what are the primary curves, what are the secondary curves. Then we will be briefly discussing what is actually the postural kyphosis as well as the what is the structural kyphosis and how to differentiate between a postural kyphosis and structural kyphosis on history, examination and x-rays. And we will be discussing what is actually the relationship of kyphosis with scoliosis. Usually there is always when we are dealing with structural kyphosis, there always kyphosis scoliosis is present as well. From then we are moving on to different types of kyphosis that is the congenital kyphosis which is usually present at birth and which may present with either the anterior failure of formation or segmentation. Then we will be discussing the most common disease of adolescent kyphosis that is the Sherman's kyphosis or Sherman's disease. We will be briefly discussing how it presents, what is its genetics and what are different theories regarding the Sherman's disease which are morally prevalent. Then we are moving on to what do we see it on the x-rays and how to calculate the, actually the thoracic kyphosis. What are the normal angles and what are the different abnormal angles which we need to understand. From there onwards we are moving on to the different types of Sherman kyphosis. One is thoracic and the thoracolumbar kyphosis which we will briefly discussing and we will be discussing the pathognomic feature of the Sherman kyphosis that is Sherman nodes. From then onward, we are moving on to one of the more common presentations in elderly age group that is the osteoporotic kyphosis and why it actually, what is the pathophysiology and how it actually leads to hyperkyphosis at the thoracic spine. And then once the elderly do develop this kyphosis, what we need to do and how we need to proceed about it. Right from the bed rest, NSAIDs and the physiotherapy, up till the vertebroplasty, kyphoplasty and transpedicular injection of methyl methacrylate. We will be briefly discussing all the modalities which are actually available to treat the uh, vertebral kyphosis which is usually seen in the osteoporotic females especially in the elderly females. If you want to watch more lectures regarding the spinal uh, uh, orthopedics or even the uh, other lectures related to other parts of the like for example shoulder, head, upper limb, lower limb trauma, you can go to scardia.com and watch all the uh, content online. And if you are interested in some other sources, for example, regarding other subjects, pathology, biochemistry, surgery and all that, whether it's from the basics up to the clinical subjects, we have all the lectures available there. So go to www.scardia.com and watch all the content online. Thank you very much.